Uh, well, first you need a driver's license to do anything. So you come in here. This little, uh, which is like a little briefcase looking thing. It's actually going to be named. We go, driving school. Come in here, you take a written test. Cost you, uh, 45 bucks. Oh, no. Uh, cost you 200 bucks. Can you take a verbal test? Uh, it's being residential area. <coughs> area. Uh, while passing other vehicles. Drive on the opposite side of the road. Drive on the highway, max speed 70. Pressure is do not cross signal. What do you do? Uh, observe before continuing. Uh, alcohol level is 0 0.08. Uh, you're turning right in traffic light to see if the pedestrian cross. What do you do? Uh, you shoot the pedestrian and continue to drive. Uh, you're overtaken by another vehicle. It's important not to. A uh, win over taking a vehicle is important not to do. Don't increase your speed. Uh, before lane change, check your mirrors, check your blind spots, signal your intentions, all of the above. Uh, you're going 65, you're approaching the residential area, you must slow down. Hey, congratulations, we passed. So now, we get, we're able to actually take our driving test. Little track to follow. Uh, if you hit anything or if you speed, it will give you a demerit or a mark or something. And if you get five marks, you fail. I'm going to do this test real quick. Then I can get my driver's license. But yeah, we're waiting on a pedestrian to pass. And then. Don't worry, you don't need to stop for red lights. And don't go over 50. Uh, if you hit F7, there's a cruise control. Alright, come on man, my light's green. I'm gonna wait till I get on the highway to do it. Uh, be sure to check your gas. It spawns in with random gas. So if your gas is looking kind of low, um, make sure to hit up that gas station right there first. I believe this car is where I need to be. Your car's great. Okay. Alright, so now it's 80, I believe. F7 control ready. Oh no! Beat him. Yeah, when you hit F7, it shuts off all the noise. So it doesn't seem like your car is actually going, but it is. Oh, I missed something. Oh, cause, yeah, because these two were tailgating each other. But I missed the spot. Car gets a little wobbly when you go on a cruise, but...
if you get pulled over without a driver's license, you can get fined, obviously. And your car will be impounded if you don't have a driver's license. Because you can't drive it. You have to pay an impound fee and... Kind of annoying. But there's a uh, there's a motorcycle license, a driver's license, and then a truck license, uh, so you can get your CDL. Um, this is the car. You get like a uh, like a box truck kind of deal for the CDL, and then you get a Vespa for the uh, for the motorcycle. So you only need a driver's license to drive, and then you need a CDL for the truck. Um, and a motorcycle license for a motorcycle, obviously. But if you just want to drive a car around, all you need is a driver's license. Um, something else is going to point out, but I don't remember what it was. Um, all three licenses do the same track. So it doesn't matter what, what vehicle you choose. It'll be the it'll be the same course all the way through. Looks like we're barely gonna have enough gas too. I rocket this in cruise control. Save on gas. Yeah, it'll be a box truck like that for your CDL. A little Vespa scooter. I don't think you can use cruise control for the scooter. Looks like we only got one demerit and that was for speeding at the beginning there. There we go. Now we have a driver's license.